And welcome back everybody, Aesop Grim here, and this is the continuation of our Skyrim Chronicle. We are going to do some, we're going to craft some plus alchemy gear today. And I need to get the timer started. There we go. I need to buy at least two more grand soul gems. I've got $3,400 on me. We're going to make probably a couple trips here. It'll all be within White Run. It's going to be up and down from Dragon's Reach down here to sell stuff. The first thing I want to do is give charity. You're the best. Uh, there you go. Thank you. Divines, bless your kind heart. We've already got, uh, you know what, do I have the, the amulet on? Mask of Clavicus, there we go, amulet of Xenathar, I've got the blessing active. I just got the charity blessing. We also have well rested for the crafting experience. We have the Mage Stone activated, which is correct for enchanting. You're a good man, Nathan. We're lucky to have you watching over us. Come to Dragon's Reach to these. Hmm. I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this. Okay. Well, he's got four of them. They sell for eight thirty-three a piece. That would get me to six. Um, can I buy all four? Four times? No. <laughs> uh, actually, I think I did my math wrong. I might be close to that. I am not good at math, so, you know. You know, Fair warning. I am an English and history person. <laughs> Those are the subjects I was always good at. And certain kinds of science. Terrible at chemistry, good at earth science. Let's see. There we go. Fortify speech. You should join the Mages College in Winterhold. Quick save. It seems this damn the... Hmm. I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this. Okay, we got all four. I'm down to 361 gold. Ferengard, you have Remember, all my gold. Your mind is the best weapon you have. Okay. We are going to disenchant. There's a tranquility in magic, don't you think? It is simply energy. This. You learn the soul trap enchantment from destroying this item. Those with the will and okay. To do so. I want to disenchant this. You learned the Fortify Alchemy. Ooh, does it not matter what alchemy you learn? Whether it's Minor Alchemy or Eminent Alchemy? Yikes, if that's true, I spent a bunch of money I didn't have to. Here's Major Wielding. One-handed Enchantment. Here's Smithing. Fortify smithing, muffling. Okay. And I'm not going to disenchant this just yet, but we're, we will eventually. All this other stuff is either going to be equipped by me or it is, it can be sold. Okay. Now, I didn't mean to opt out of that. If we go over and pick... Fortify Alchemy. We've got Bracers, we've got Helmet. You see here it won't allow us to do boots or armor. And uh, I forget where it tells us that it won't allow for that. Oh, it's when you click it. Chosen Enchantment cannot be applied to this item. 
but it can be applied to a helmet, bracers, ring, and necklace. So, if I pick a, the necklace and the Fortify Alchemy, oh, I did. I spent a boatload more money than I had to. Ugh. Oh, well. I need two more grand soul gems. You must have the arcane blacksmith perk. Oh, for real? Quit enchanting. <laughs> Joe, I'm glad you got that in there before I enchanted. Let's look at blacksmithing. I th uh, Joe says, I think. I think you need the arcane blacksmithing. Whoops. Okay. I'm going to need to get Dwarving, so that's one skill point. But first, I would take this one. It requires 60 in smithing. Ooh, caramba, caramba, caramba. And improve magical equipment. Joa, I think this just simply allows you to improve equipment that has enchantments on it. Or just buy the clothes from that place. I, I don't understand. I didn't follow that one. Do they have like plus alchemy clothes already? If that's the case, why am I doing this? They might. Oh, I guess we would go through. I guess we... I, I, I see what you're saying. We would use the method that I just now used. And just cycle through their inventory until... Plus Alchemy came up for each piece that we needed. Okay. I, I'm willing to not do that. And that that's probably the smart play. But, and I don't know if this is the right phrase to use, but for role-playing purposes, I'm totally willing to go with what he's able to accomplish right now. Oh, I see. No, buy the clothes to be enchanted if you don't have a chest piece. I do have a chest piece. But for alchemy, you can't, you cannot enchant. Chant chests. Right, here's a chest piece right here. It's the one I'm wearing. I can fortify smithing on it, but not alchemy. Because alchemy won't let you do chest pieces. Alchemy uses helmets. See, if I click this, Chosen Enchantment cannot be applied to this item. So I think they're just, they're all different. And in a small variety of ways. Yeah. Okay. So we're same page. Um, let's go ahead and do these enchantments now. Do I want to do that? Let me Let me look at my guide and make sure. There's no plus enchantment. There is a plus enchantment potion. I want to go make... I want to make that first. I want to make several of them. Snow... Oh, this is where we needed the blue swallowtail wing. Which I don't think I have. This is, this is going to be trial and error. We're going to find out, because I have several versions of Swallowtails with the butterflies. Did I not grab those? I bet I didn't. No, I did. Okay. But I don't think I have a single solitary blue Swallowtail. Okay. 
And if that's what I got to go look for, I'm going to have to put future YouTube audience on pause and just start hunting this stuff down. Maybe I can Google it. It's a popular enough mod. That I think Google might might tell me. I forget what the mod's called. It it's got butterflies in the name though. It'll be something like varied butterflies or monarch butterflies or something like that. And it goes with crafting overhaul. Okay, so again. For plus enchanting, the formula is snowberries and blue swallowtail wing. So we'll go with ingredients, snowberries, and uh, up here we can see I have blue clipper butterfly. We can try it. Potion creation failed. So come back down, select snowberries. If there's anything I can help you with, you have Here's to an ask. emerald swallowtail. Potion creation failed. See, this is depressing. Having to find a specific butterfly. That's a little bit too grindy. I sell cures for all ills. Glowing honeycomb, M stool, Luna Moth. I mean, why not? We can try it. Nope. Snowberries. Lavender. Marsh fertility. Uh, fritillari. Is that a butterfly? You'll find tonics. No. Salves, poultices, and potions on my shelves. Browse to your heart's content. Morning cloak. No. Nordic swallowtail. Oh man, I was really hoping that that would have worked. I was really hoping. Peacock butterfly. Pearl, Red Admiral. Do let me know if I can be of service. Sawtooth. And that's it, guys. Man, that hurts. This is gonna be much more grindy than I want it to be. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna check her. Take a look. Filter by ingredients. She doesn't have any either. So like I say, with without the mod, it's easy to find. You're just looking for blue butterfly wing. This is the thing that we're going to need for smithing. Sprig and sap. Find tonics, salves, poultices, and potions on my shelves. Browse to your heart's content. You... You can mix three ingredients, Joa, but if you don't know what any of them are, or if you don't have the right ones, that, that third ingredient only serves to improve the potency. So the baseline potion is going to be blue swallowtail wing plus snowberries, and then... We can add something like a giant's toe, which will improve the potency of it. Or we can add another uh, ingredient that has plus um, enchanting in it. And that'll increase the potency it, if I have it right. But I'm, I'm a little bit uncertain here because I don't know if what I'm reading takes into account the mods. You know. So we'll escape 
quit this. I'm going to put future YouTube audience on pause. And I'm going to also Google and see if I can find where blue swallowtails are at. Maybe Google will have it. So, um, I'm alt tabbing right now, pausing. All right, YouTube, welcome back. Let me get a, get the timer going again. I sell cures for all ills, and I'll be happy to serve you. So it took forever and a day to find this butterfly. I found them. Uh, it was in this area, this little section here, down by the river were some, I think here at Chill Furrow Farm. I might have found one or two others. I can't remember how many I've got. I think I've only got two. They are hard as nails to find, in my experience. But uh, let me alt tab. It just I I can't afford to get this wrong, so I need to quick save it also. Um, fortify enchanting snowberries and blue swallowtail wing. Now, if you're not using the mod I've got, which comes with step, which alters butterflies, I think it's called butterflies unchained. Then you're just looking for blue butterfly wing. But if you are, you're you're looking for blue swallowtail. Okay. Now I do have a common blue butterfly. There's snowberries. If there's anything I can help you with, you have but to ask. Here's blue swallowtail. Fortify enchanting. All right. So there's one. And, uh, snowberries. And here's a common blue butterfly, which I think I'm expecting this will make another enchanting. It did not. So I've got one enchanting potion. And it took me a long time to find the ingredient. That enchanting potion will improve Fortify Enchant by 7 skill points for 60 seconds. So for a weak potion, I don't I don't really even know if that's worth it, guys. Where you where it might become more worth it is um when you're have when you're more skilled up in alchemy. And you can make a stronger potion. But you kind of got to start somewhere. And I, it's just, it's such a pain in the neck. I'm really seriously considering disabling that mod. That's, and it's, I don't want to do it because I think it does an outstanding job of making the butterflies look more natural. A lot of variation. They're, more detailed, multicolored butterflies. But, wow. This, this was a grind. Not one that I appreciated. Plus, we jumped in to help some white run guards that were getting hit up by bandits. And we were helping them out. We slayed these guards, but apparently my mages flipping lightning magic is like aoe and it touched a guard too so they decided we needed to go down so we whacked two guards and got bounties put on my head i was upset about that because we were trying to help we're trying to help right and um fortunately i'm thane so they were like oh well never mind <laughs> but all of that to get one fortify enchant Oh, you know what? Because I've had to wait several days, I need to go get the well rested again. And then I need to get, uh... Well, no, I don't need the charity anymore. Do you, we give 
We'll just run down here to um, the Breezewood home. And we'll sleep there for the night. Then we'll go make this crafting gear. It's kind of like our initial set. They're reforming the Dawn God. Vampires or something. In the old form, they rift. As we, uh, as we skill up in enchanting, we'll be able to make better and better enchanting gear. There's Lydia. She's... Oh, that's right. You guys, I didn't introduce you to Mercurio. Joa told us about him. He's at the B in the Barb, and supposedly, I mean, according to Joa, he's one of the stronger mages that you can get as a follower. So, that's my new follower, and Lydia is now just acting as House Carl here at the Breezewood home. Let's sleep for like eight hours. No, that, wait, this takes me to AM. There we go. Okay, we are well rested. Oh, hey there. And I should tell you guys, when you're hunting butterflies, they're out only during daytime, and they do not come out whenever it is raining or snowing. So basically, sunny days during the day. What do you need? Okay, here we are at the Arcane Enchanter. We're going to be making our Fortify Alchemy gear. And so I'm going to pop this enchanting. It only lasts for 60 seconds, but once you're inside the Arcane Enchanter, time kind of pauses. Do I have my Grand Soul Gems? Yes, I do. And do I have my gear? Here's the bracers. Um, man, I'm glad I checked that. I don't see... I, I have no... I can't even explain that. I, I guess I sold it on accident. I don't know where my... My hide helmet is. I had one. Oh, this is getting frustrating. Minor wielding, minor wielding. This ring and this necklace is what I'm going to enchant. And these bracers. Okay, is there anything I can disenchant? I don't think so. I think everything else has to be sold. Yeah. Oh, man. This is going to work out eventually. I don't like when things aren't efficient, especially if I've practiced them. At least I checked it before I got started. I've got one potion to use. That's 
I mean, it's only going to improve me by seven points, but... That's not really... Anyway, I need to have a helm. Maybe Bellathor will have a hood. That would be nice, because I would prefer to have a hood than a helm. It's not super important to me, but I prefer the hood. Welcome to Bellathor's General Goods. Welcome indeed. Everything's for sale, my friend. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Alrighty then. You have robes, robes, robes. Wolf's, that's a uh, cloak. You do not. No hood. I can sell you. I guess I already know blocking. Yeah, I didn't have to buy major anything. Okay, sell that. I can wear the steel... No, shoot. I meant to... I meant to keep that. That's alright. We're going to replace it soon enough. Do come back. We can try the archery place down here. I guess I could make one. I've got leather on me. Oh, you know where it might be? It might be in Allie's uh, sacks or saddlebags. No. Oh. Go, go, go. Okay. Leather. Maybe leather strips. Um. Where do I make that at? Here? Uh, this is just for improvement, so it's... Oh. Get out of the way! Right, here. A fur helmet... Would be what? Elk hide and leather strips. Three iron ingots. Iron ingot, leather strips, and two leather. Okay, the hide helmet is what we're going to make. I need to make one more leather here. Timer. We're going to finish this, though. What about hood? I can make a leather hood. Uh, there we go. That's what I'll do. My cousins out fighting dragons, and what do I get? Guard. 
<laughs> that guy. <laughs> that's a guy that wants... Uh, I don't know that he wants bragging rights, but he doesn't want his cousin to have bragging rights. <laughs> Finally, we're gonna at least get this alchemy gear made. Next episode will be smithing gear. We gotta steal something to make the smithing potion. I also, I'm gonna need money to get two. Um, I might have enough right now to get two more grand soul gems. Come but to uh, Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities. Like let's the quick the save group. it. Go to items drink fortify enchanting use the arcane enchanter enchant the leather hood with fortify alchemy using a grand soul gem we're going to rename it I, I suggest you do this leather hood and I'm just going to call it of well, how about we call it, instead of, of alchemy, let's call it Alchemist's Leather Hood. And we will hit R for crafting, and we will enchant that. Okay. We've gained a skill point that I will use for snake blood in the alchemy tree. We're going to grab... Oh, doggone it. I have gloves. I have them. Where are they at? Are they em are they equipped? I'm going to run out. Gloves, gloves, gloves. Oh, I know I had them. Okay, back into the enchanter because we can't run out of that 60 seconds. I'll get the gold amber necklace. Fortify Alchemy, Grand Soul Gem, rename it. Well, I want to keep the, the name Gold. I think I'm going to get rid of Amber to make it a little bit shorter. Alchemist Gold Necklace. Craft it. Yes. And here's the gold ring, the alchemy, the grand soul gem. Rename it Alchemist's Gold Ring. R for crafting. Yes. And now we will tab out, open items. Ah. Oh, this is killing me. Gosh dang, I could have sworn to everything that I had gloves in here. Leather glove. Oh, man, that's really frustrating. Oh, you know what I can do? Load that, that quick before I started. Before I started um, making everything. I am really sorry, guys. I don't know what is going on. The, today has been an absolute, nothing short of a disaster when it comes to streaming. Absolutely. It's been like six or seven things have gone wrong. So, anywho. Farging A. Let's see. We got iron boots I don't care about. In fact, drop them. I don't want anything in my inventory that I'm not using. I'll drop the shield. Drop the necklace. Drop the gold peridot ring. No, no, no. I got a house. <laughs> just getting yelled at. 
<laughs> that is funny. All right. That solitude place sells gloves. Yeah, but I can make them right here. I've got the materials. And I, I think I'm going to need all this gold to buy the Grand Soul Gems. Sometimes I do things that don't make sense for the game. Like, do I spend $1,600 on Grand Soul Gems and cast a weak enchant on gloves? Or do I spend 1600 gold, I should say, on gloves of eminent alchemy and get plus 20%? Well, it makes sense to go buy the gloves, right? But, um... But I like my character to do things. I like to develop the skills. There's times that I play this game and I put limitations on my character that I will not allow him or her to uh, to do things that I know I could get away with. Oh, look at all these. I forgot I had this stuff. Anything special? Not really. Okay. Target is going to store this. This. You can wear your... I guess I'll, I'll keep the cloak. Because I'm wearing it. I don't tend to have that. I'll keep that. Store that. Store the boots. Keep the leather hood. I don't want a thing in here that I don't actually have equipped because evidently that is seriously throwing me off. Even this. That oh, should be okay. Okay. Tired of messing up. to see what what requirements I need executioner's gloves uh, that really that's that's it huh what about bracers there we go elk hide Two leather strips and one leather. That's what we'll make. I guess I need to look at... Um, do I not have any of that? Okay, make one leather, and this will make, oh, I don't want to do that. It requires a leather. We can make red leather.
Sniper. All right, double, triple check. Just make sure. My goodness, leather hood check. Bracers check. That's two pieces. I've got the amber necklace and I've got the gold ring. That's four pieces. I seriously could have sworn that whenever I was back at our house near Falkreath, I loaded all that stuff up. Five to quick save. I probably should have just regular saved it. Um, fortify enchanting. Necklace. Alchemy. 10% more powerful. Grand Soul Gem. Now here's where I actually do sort of have a question. From what I saw online, the Grand Soul Gem makes this enchant more powerful, but it says there, created potions are 10% more powerful, and it says that no matter what Soul Gem I put in there, so I'm not 100% about that. We're going to call this, like I said before, Alchemist's gold necklace. Craft it. Yes. Grab the gold ring. Fortify alchemy. Grand soul gem. Alchemist's gold ring. Craft it. The hide bracers. Fortify alchemy. Grand Soul Gem, rename it. Alchemist's Hide Bracers, craft it. The Leather Hood, Fortify Alchemy. Soul Gem, rename it. Alchemist's Leather Hood, craft it. Yes. Okay. It would be nice if I could do the smithing stuff right now, because I only had that one enchanting potion, but off screen I will go look for more butterfly wings, because um, we need to use the plus alchemy gear to make better enchantment potions. Let's see how that turned out for us. There's the leather hood, 10% more powerful. Hide bracers, 9%. Gold necklace, 10%. Gold ring, 9%. Did I really need to use a grand soul gem? I, I don't know. I'm not sure about that. Um... Joa says, soul gems matter more for weapons. The better the soul gems, the longer the enchantment will last without recharging. But I don't know if it also matters for other stuff, maybe. Well, Buxy had said the same thing regarding weapons. And he was saying that that's not so important. The old, that the larger the soul gem, like you just said, the larger the soul gem, the more um, uses you can get out of that weapon before you need to recharge it with another soul. But he said when you're crafting gear, it, it counts for a lot. It has, it factors into what percentage, this percentage right here. But I'm just, I don't know if that wound up being true or not. 
you know, for a 10% gain, I know that 25% I think is flawless. I'm wondering if it's just skill alone, you know, but I'll try to do some research and kind of dig into that because I think I spent a boatload of gold that I might not have had to. So, I don't know. It's been a really frustrating episode. It's been a fun episode. I'm glad I'm making progress. And this plan, I think, is a great plan. But with everything that happened today, it's just really been frustrating. And, uh... Having to go find more of those butterfly wings is not something I'm looking forward to. But at least I can do that off screen. I'll, I'll like throw some music up on the background or something and just chill. You know? <laughs> Watch Netflix on the side or something like that. And I'll look for that stuff off screen. But uh, that'll cover it for today's episode. And that's going to be it for streaming also. Um... For today, my next scheduled streaming of Skyrim is going to be Monday. But I'm telling you, because I'm excited about what we're working on, uh, I'm scheduled to do Hitman tomorrow, so it won't be tomorrow. But there's there's probably a really good chance I'll be on Saturday uh, wrapping this stuff up. And uh, if you look at my schedule on Twitch or on YouTube also, you'll notice... I have days that I have specific games plugged in. I'm I'm playing this game. And then I all the other days are scheduled as unofficial. On an unofficial day, if I'm going to be on, I'm going to be on at those times. The, it's the same times all the time. It's 1 to 4 Central Standard Time in the afternoon. And it's 7 to 10 in the evening, which is much more laid back. Sometimes I get on at 7.30 or something, but... It's between 7 and 10, and sometimes I stay late um, in the evening. And that's those are the times that you'll find me. But I want to say thank you for coming by, uh, definitely flattening the learning curve, and really just genuinely making the playthrough more fun. It's nice to have other voices out there. Hope you stream again. It takes a long time, but it's really worth it in the end. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So, like I say, I, there's a good chance I'll be streaming Saturday, doing finishing this up. But if not, definitely on Monday whenever I'm scheduled. I really try hard not to skip scheduled days. Something special has to come up for me to miss that. So, again, I'm Aesop Grimm, and I want to say thank you for coming by the channel, and I hope you like what you saw, even though this episode really was quite frustrating in my opinion. But, um... Uh, still, I hope you found things that help you here. I think uh, the advice Joa and Buxy have given has been outstanding and is applicable for everybody out there. And I will see you in the next episode where this story continues. Thanks for visiting Aesop Grimm's Chronicles. If you've made it this far in the video, please consider rating, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. I hope to see you in the next episode, and until then, stay shiny.